Hi guys, how you doing? Hi guys. We are out and about because um, there's a new charity shop that's appeared on our patch. Yeah, just a little one. It's huge. It's <laughs> like it's like a warehouse. Um, so we thought we'd take you along. We we've, we've never been here before. It's brand new. Um, my sister was talking about it last night actually. So we thought we'd come and uh, take a browse and bring you along with us. Found. Get back. Mm -hmm. Okay, back in the car. We did quite well in there. We did, it was really good. Yeah. Um, I'm just about to run out of battery, so I can't really film much now, but we thought we'd do a little haul. And I met a guy in there who knew me from YouTube, which is quite yeah. interesting. Yeah. So I'm gonna to have to end this here and we'll carry on when we get home and do a little haul. Yep. Okay, hi, we are now back at home. Yes. We have, well, we've done a lot actually since we got back. Ellen's been off hunting for Easter eggs with lots of friends and I've been gallivanting around, taking her there, bringing her back. Taxi, oh. dad's taxi. <laughs> dad's taxi service. Yeah. Um, but in between doing all that, we've we've managed to look up some of this stuff that we got and we did pretty well it was a really cool place it was great it was like tk max but all used stuff <laughs> yeah it felt like you know i watched videos from the american resellers and they're in these great big yeah good wheels they call them and that it was that yeah, sort of it was size that, it was definitely that so that size even though it can't yeah. speak but yeah <laughs> Um, so I went straight for the media shall i do the media first and yep. then you can do the clothing yeah i went straight over to the media and I started looking at, they've got three big bookcases full of books. Books were, everything was two for a pound. And I noticed a chap there scanning books into FBA. And he had a pile on the floor. Mm. So I, I just said to him, I said, hi there, mate. Is it worth me bothering to scan these bookshelves? Have you been through everything? And he sort of turned and looked at me. And then he went, hi, Nick. <laughs> I watch your videos. <laughs> and then we had a bit of a chat about FBA and stuff. Um, I don't think I got his name. So sorry about that if you're watching this, but yeah, lovely to meet you. Um, I did pick up a couple of books, but this chap had taken all the good stuff, which yeah. is fair enough. Um, he was saying that he'd gone full-time last year. Yeah. I don't know whether it was full-time FBA or what. Uh, a few books, yeah, nothing. At this point, I was too busy looking at all the clothes. <laughs> yeah, Andrew was busy rummaging clothes. So I got four books for two pounds. Uh, there to go to FBA sort of 10 to 15 pound mark books, nothing amazing, all quite high ranks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they were okay. And then media wise, um, all the media was a pound each. I got this, which I'm gonna watch myself. This is the Stone Roses. I loved their first album, uh, one of my favorite albums. And I'm gonna have a watch of this. It's got all the videos from the first album on it and a lot of TV appearances and live shows. That's one of the beauties of buying 
yeah. media is you get to watch it, sometimes keep it. <laughs> Um, but this I would imagine I'll watch, I'll get my pounds worth of enjoyment out of it and then I'll sell it on. This I'm going to go to FBA, I was just looking it up. There are a couple of cheap sellers, but there's no FBA, so I'm going to shoot for probably 15 on it and see what happens. So that was nice. A random fishing one which had, there was no FBA sellers again, so I'll probably shoot for around 10 to 12. Are you going to watch that one? This one? <laughs> I'm not a fisherman, not my thing. But this, this was also a pound, and it's the Pacific, I think it's a Spielberg, yeah, Spielberg series, and it's the Blu-ray box set. Um, so I grabbed it for a pound. There's not a lot of money in it, but again, that's one that we might watch. Mm. So for a pound, if we choose to watch it, we get to view the whole series and then sell it on, but it's not a lot of value in it. Maybe a tenner with shipping on, if I'm lucky. Yeah, but for a pound, you can't leave it behind, really, can you? No. And then CDs. Uh, picked up a few gems. This is nice. This is Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. The standard version is worth nothing. It's everywhere. This mm. is a limited edition with the DVD. So it's got basically all their videos on it. And what did I say? Cheapest FBA was 18. I think the buy box on this is 18. That's not Amazon. That's another FBA seller. So that's the price I'll yeah, shoot for on still that. Still sealed, which is quite still good. sealed. Yeah. yeah, used. It was nowhere near that. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of stuff. It looked like a rep or somebody had given in a lot of stuff because there were multiples of some things. Brand new, sealed, quite obscure import stuff, and some of it was really worth picking up. This has fairly high rank. Um, I think the, is that the band Radar. I don't yeah. even know. I was just scanning <laughs> barcodes. Um, Amazon has it at £33, but they've just sold out, Okay. it says. So I'm going to send these in and just shoot for 30 on it. It's quite obscure, quite high rank, but I've got nothing to lose, apart, oh. apart from my pound. So yeah, they were good. Uh, a random one, Scream, it's used, but I should still get 7 or 8 back on that. You found that one. Yeah. Audiobook. Um, I'm struggling to remember numbers. I think it was about 20. Yeah, still FBA. sealed again. Yeah. Factory sealed. Because it's new, um, I'll shoot for about 20 on that. Had a good rank in books yeah. as well. Uh, another artist I've not heard of, Christina Kulukundis, maybe. Um, no. Yeah, scanned okay, used about seven or eight, I think. And a couple of other very obscure sealed albums that are around the 10 to 12 pound mark. So that was pretty good. Yeah, it was worth going through. Yep. And then these, I'll quickly show these, shall <laughs> yeah. I? I've never had these before. I've seen these in Joe Penny's videos, and I think maybe Ben has had them. These are Goodness Gang. I don't know if you can see. A couple of them are tagged. I think it was a co op thing. Like co op shops. No, I've never seen them before. I'm sure it was. Anyway, it's, I think it's to do with getting kids eating veg. Yeah. And I managed to find three. They were in, all of their soft toys were two for a pound. I found three and he said, that's fine. I, I found these just before we left. Yeah, well just... I was rummaging because I was waiting for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then he went, oh, <laughs> I'd have left them behind. I didn't know what they were. Yeah, and the guy said, because we'd spent like 30 odd quid yeah, at that we kept point. going back, didn't we? <laughs> he said, just have the three for a pound. So I did. Um, it seems these are one of those items where the more you get, as in quantity of, the better it is. They're better to bundle up, get five or six, and you get 25, 30 quid. Yeah. So for the three, I might list them like that for 12 pounds, 12.99 we're shipping on, or just wait for more. But I've never seen any, so how long no, would I be I waiting? Know, exactly. You might as well just go for it. Yeah, they're really quite nice things. They're beanie, they've got beans in their bum. They've got beanie bums. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, quite nice things. So it's the first time I've ever seen those. Yeah, he hasn't got his tag. No, he's untagged. I think he's an onion. He's an aubergine. I don't know what this one is. What's that? Uh, I don't know. Beetroot? Was it? Or radish, maybe? No, he's not right, the right colour for radish, is he? It must say, surely. Hang on. Bear with. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I don't know. Super, goodness going superfoods. I don't know. What does it look like? What is it? I don't know, you tell us. The red onion. Red <laughs> it onion. might be a red onion. Yeah. Or is what? it? Is that, is that what it says? No. Oh. I'm just guessing. But quite frankly, what it does it matter? I know. 
<laughs> it might matter when you listen. Yeah. You so yeah, that was my little haul. Yeah. And then Andrea was busy rummaging for vintage clothes. Yeah, the prices were great in there, and it's so well laid out. Like I said, it's like TK Maxx, so everything's on rails, and they sort of lay it out. So you've got all the tops together, all the dresses together, and then they very clearly sort of price everything at the top of each rail, so you you know where to go, and it's very easy to navigate. Um, this is a white stuff top. Let me show you the label, white stuff. Um, that was two pounds. So if you look, this sort of tunic top. Um, you look them up, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for about twelve ninety nine on that. So I'll hang it on the. You're um, very squeaky. And but well, this chair needs oiling. <laughs> Um, this one is probably my favourite pickup of the day. It is. <laughs> it is a vintage shirt by Sparklers. Now I've looked it up on Google. I couldn't find anything about Sparklers, but um, a vintage shirt like that. Um, I'm going to shoot for about twenty five pounds. There were a few different Sparklers out, not outfits. Really? Uh, items. You reckon you get that? Yep on um, eBay, um, none at Buy It Now, a few are, you know, sort of on bids, but I'm gonna go for about 25. You've gotta try these things. If you can get it, go for it. I would have just never picked that up. That looks nothing to me. I know. Is this vintage as well? well? I don't think it is. I thought it was when I picked it up, but I don't think it is now. Um, as soon as Ellen got home, she went, oh, that's super cute. I really like that. And I said, well, 25 pounds and it's yours. <laughs> did you? And then what did she say? She's like, mm. <laughs> Anyway, this is, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Tolchen or Tolkien. Um, it looked expensive and gingham is really in this season. So uh, that was only two pounds again. So it's just <laughs> in your face. It's just a lady. I'll just get girls. out of your way. Um, I'll sit back. And this one I'm really pleased with. It was four pounds. It's a bit more expensive, but it's Bowden. Um, I'll show you the Bowden label. If you've not seen it, everyone knows what Bowden looks like, really. Um, so that's quite a long dress. And it's a size 18, which is even better. But, yeah, I'm going to go for about £30 on that one, I think. Really? Yeah. So I don't think I said um, the Tolton one, I'm going to go for 15 on that. And then just before we walked out, I had a quick browse of coats and came across this one. It's an equestrian jacket and it just really caught my eye because it's sort of the rainbow colours. It's really bright and quite cheerful. Um, it is Lavinia, I think. I'm not sure how you pronounce it again. Well, we heard but, a jacket, um, didn't we? A horse riding yeah, jacket that um, sold quick not long ago. A gilet that we had. Gilet, um, yeah. But we do well with equestrian stuff. So um, I'm going to shoot for about 25 on that. And this is very run of the mill, but because they're maternity, I picked them up. They're top shop maternity trousers. They're boot cut. So they've got elasticated middle then? Yeah, so... A stretchy oh, yeah. here. Oh, stretchy sides. On each side. Cool. Um, they're only a size 10, so I don't know. I'm hoping they'll go, but um, I'm going to go for about 12 .99. No, was it 12 .99? No, 15 on those. Yeah. And then you bought some stuff for yourself as well. Yeah, I bought myself a really cute little dress and, um, and a pair of jeans. Yeah. So that was my little haul. Yeah, happy days. Yes. So that's our trip to a new charity shop. I think we'll be popping in there quite often. I think we will. It was really good. Yeah. It was actually your sister, wasn't it? It was Alison the other night mentioned it. Yeah, we popped over to my sister's uh, for the evening, uh, had a meal over there. Uh, and my sister has actually started, well, she's handed in her notice. She's a teacher, but yeah. she's been not happy in her job for quite a while. And she's yeah she's going to go reselling full-time yeah. so really taking the plunge she's got a, a whole term and then the summer holidays until she's yeah. got to start earning 
serious yeah. money from it. Um, so, yeah, yeah. giving it a go and building it up. Taking like, building the up a shop. So we went over there and talked about eBay for most of the night. Yeah. It's and quite she, nice, actually, to have someone in the family that we can just sit and talk about eBay with. Yeah, yeah. We're not boring people. <laughs> <laughs> we like to think we're not boring people. No, I said we're, we're not boring people. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> we're quite probably quite boring people, but, you know. So yeah, thanks Alison for the tip off about the charity shop. Yeah. We um went and spent a load of money. We did. <laughs> yeah. We but must start we got, getting clothing good. out of the loft so you can realise how much backlog you've got. Yeah. I know. We will bring up some stock there's loads under here, look. I can I see a crate of clothes it's, from here. Yeah. I keep turning a blind eye to it. <laughs> you just want new stuff. I, I want to buy new stuff. It's nice to have new stuff. <laughs> Why? It's oh, nice I started that. Did that. <laughs> It's nice to pick up new stuff, and it, you know. Yeah. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And you can't uh, talk. As, what? As Stuart said the other night, you're not one to make any comment on it. <laughs> I've been doing very well with my backlog. Yeah. I did have empty shelves for at least a day. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that little roundup of what we found today. Hope you enjoyed the video of our trip down to the south coast. Uh, yeah. Been some lovely comments on that video, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. And we will be back on Sunday, if not before. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, you're going to do a video about I'm ponies. I'm going to do a video about um, how to price ponies and how to identify them. That's My Little Ponies, not just yeah. ponies in general. My Little yeah. Ponies. Yeah, I don't have a pony in the garden. No. <laughs> a guy bought a pony on Best Offer last night, didn't he? And he still hasn't paid. No. That's the most annoying thing. We were talking with my sister and her other half about when people are there, make you an offer. So they're clearly there on the other on a computer or on their phone yep. and you accept their offer straight away and then they don't pay. It's like the most frustrating thing. I know. I can't work it out. Because we have instant... You have to pay instantly when you buy our stuff with Buy It Now. But if you accept an offer, that's yeah. not the case. And then these people just... They're so wishy-washy and don't pay. It I winds me up. I never understand it. I don't know if it's because they don't understand Buy It Now best offer or if... I don't know. I don't get it. Just don't. I bet lots of you have that issue. I've seen people talk about it on the forums and yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, and Welcome. quick update before we go. The £160 sale I have for the Toshiba DVD recorder, Hermes have lost it completely. They have no knowledge of where it is. It's in their system. It got all the way to the delivery driver at the other end and vanished. So mm -hmm. now I've got to fill out a claim form and, fingers crossed, they will pay me back the 160. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, because yeah. I've now got to refund my buyer, obviously. So, anyway. Okay. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.